to give you a tour of the blind that I've set up out here at the bed and breakfast. It's a four by six that will seat two people comfortably. It's tall, so I can stand up in it without having to really duck. It's ingeniously made, designed, that is. These things just, you just whack the panels into place down on each of the sides. And then it has ingenious windows that you release from the inside with a bungee. And it pops open. And you can adjust the height by pulling on the cord on the inside. You can open it up so that you have a clear shot. And then just adjust this button like that. And now you've got it nice and wide open. And then when you reach under, pull it shut again. Just snap that in. So it's got those windows all the way around. And a door panel that also has a window. We used wire ties because uh, we lost the pieces that you're supposed to put it together with. But with wire ties, it goes together just as easily. You can see that the height of this is good enough that I can stand up inside it without having to duck, which is really nice in a blind. The door has a little hole where you can insert a pin from the inside and lock it. So currently we've got it set up on the ground, but we're gonna raise it up, put a little platform underneath it so that we get a better shot at the bed and breakfast area with the feeder. I just did a little bit of dirt work with the tractor. Moved a pile of dirt away from here. Smoothed this out so I can move the blind from its current spot right over to there, which should give me a better shot at bed and breakfast feeder. We're ready to go out and hunt the wild boar. We got a solo boar that's been showing up out there every evening around 6.30 to 9 or so. So uh, it's 5 o'clock right now. I'm all loaded up, got all my gear on so I can carry it all out there uh, as quietly as possible and get set up, sit there and see if I can get him. The rifle I've brought along is a Keltec RFB, which is a 308 uh, semi automatic. And I've got a Pulsar N550 infrared night vision scope on it. Unfortunately, the little video camera that's supposed to plug into the scope is, uh, has got a dead battery, and I couldn't find the charger. <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to show you what it looks like through the scope. Okay, well, the sun has just set, so in about another half hour, it will become totally dark. And at this point, I usually have some activity, usually some deer 
are out here, uh, followed by this one solo wild boar that I've been tracking. So I'm kind of surprised that I haven't seen anything, haven't heard any deer at all yet. So I've been referring to the bed and breakfast a couple of times, and that's what I've named this place that's out in the middle of the woods along the western boundary that we've seen up to 11 wild pigs, feral hogs, show up here to eat corn off the ground. And so we've got a feeder set up out here now and a camera that takes pictures whenever it detects motion and transmits them to me over the cellular network so that I can see them at home. So I've named this place Bed and Breakfast. Well, it's now pitch dark out here. It's about eight o'clock and I have not seen anything on my infrared scope. No raccoons, no deer, no hogs, no anything. So I'm guessing that I came out here a little bit late at five o'clock and they probably heard me coming through the forest and decided not to come out tonight. Mm -hmm. 